What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm excited and when I say that I really mean it because in today's video we are opening up a box of the brand new Battles of Legends. This is the brand new set by Konami and I'm super excited because this set contains a ton of insane 25th anniversary rare cards including Rite of Armisir, Super Polymerization, Arm Neos, and Volcanic Shell. So I'm super excited to be getting into this box but before we do I want to give a huge shout out to Untouchables sports cards and games they actually provided us with this box to open up on the channel so big shout out to untouchables if you guys want to check them out a link will be at the top of the description both to their website as well as their instagram so you guys can check them out now if you guys do enjoy these kind of videos make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one we upload five days a week here on the channel we do deck profiles combo videos dual replays product openings like this ones but you guys are going to get a short every single day so you guys get at least five videos a week you guys might get even a little bit more so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And with that, I'm super excited. Let's get into it. Battles of Legends, Monsters of Revenge. Let's go. All right, so here it is in all of its glory. Battles of Legend, Monstrous Revenge. I'm super excited. There are some crazy reprints in here, some crazy new cards in here, and some crazy 25th anniversary cards that pretty much look like Starlight Rares, which is absolutely insane. Now I'm going to get right into this. I don't want to take up too much time. So let's slice it open just like that. And we didn't slice it open. All right, let's try this again. I think we got into it this time. And oh, just before we do get into it, I do want to say something. All right. I'm very confident that we're going to be pulling a 25th anniversary card in this. So what I did was I actually brought my shades with me. And once we open that 25th anniversary rare, I'm going to be putting on these shades because it's going to just be way too shiny for us. So with that being said, I have my shades set and ready to go because I'm just I'm feeling it. I just feel like we're going to pull something good in here. I don't know. I haven't done a box opening in a while, honestly. And I'm just kind of hoping, you know, you know, that box opening cope where you just cope for something. But again, there's so many really cool things in this set and uh, I'm excited to get right into it. So we're opening it up here. Oh, 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 look at these. OK, like I'm going to be honest. I don't even know what this card is, but the card arts on some of these like this is the Gaia Dragon and the Dark Magician Fusion. This I don't even know what it is. It's a zombie card. We got this card, which I have no idea what this card is either. We got the odd eyes over here here which is the new odd eyes like arc rebellion card something like that and then we got the arm neos yeah that's five that's five that's five cards that's five uh pack arts yeah super excited to get into it let's get into this right side first and then we're gonna get right oh bro i'm so excited the reprints in here one thing i'm really looking for is uh the volcanic shell because as a gx guy a volcanic shell in a 25th anniversary would be insane but then the arm neos would be insane super poly would be insane you got stuff like the right of armies here the zeus oh my god there's so many good cards in here so since we're opening a full booster box, I'm going to go slow for the first few packs and then I'll speed things up because I don't want this video to be like 30 minutes long. I also don't know where the secret rare would be, but I'm excited because first of all, we have an Odd Eyes Rebellion Ixies Dragon and this card is one of the artworks on the pack art. So that's really cool. We got a Performer Pal Class Karibo. We got a secret rare Dark Magician the Night. OK, look at this. Two pack art cards off the first pack which is insane so the secret rare looks like it's in the middle we got a black wing this card is absolutely insane by the way it's so crazy because you can make full armor masters so easy in a lot of the level eight or the decks that can summon level eight monsters and make level 10 synchros this card is insane all right so we got two cards over here that are pack art cards which i always think are cool we now know the secret rare is the third slot so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try and make it so that the secret rare is a last slot because i'm going to assume that the starlight rare would take the secret rare slot so let's go two cards to the front here and let's go Eritama over here that's a really good reprint we got ghost lancer another pack art which is kind of nice a number 65 gin buster a really good ultra rare reprint we got sprite smashers over here and we got a secret rare they durant the ooze giant i okay i have no idea what this card is but i will say the secret rare on these cards is actually really nice like i don't know what it is i think it's a little bit different than our typical secret rares but the printing quality looks pretty good on these so far i would say which is surprising because konami's printing quality has a uh, been a little bit shaky recently however i mean this feels pretty good all right let's go two more to the front and let's open these up i'm gonna go a little bit faster just in a few packs here because we have some new cards still black mamba we got the mother spider splitter sprite carrot and we got a danger nessie oh this is a very good reprint over here in secret rare as well this is a card that definitely needed a reprint and uh that's a good one all right so now that we're kind of finally getting into it getting into the role of things 
Uh, I just want to talk about things that I want because um, the one of the Blackwing, the Blackwing level two there is something that I definitely wanted. Let's put these two to the front. Uh, I want the Assault Synchron. The Arm Neos would be really nice. I want to do some Neo stuff, some hero stuff as well because the new Flame Wingman retrain is in here, which would be really nice. Golden Rule, by the way, speaking of anime cards, Golden Rule is a card that's insane in Crystal Beast. And this card being printed in here is crazy because this and any Crystal Beast name, I think, is just a crazy combo. And again, like, that's just insane so i'm gonna be trying to update crystal beast i'm gonna be trying to update hero there's so many different things that are getting support here and i'm just really excited to be getting into it um just being able to pull these cards and then being able to use them for future deck profiles and whatnot shogi rook odd eyes valet we got Uro bonus and we got Foxy Tune is a secret rare in here as well. Bro, these reprints are kind of insane, actually, if you think about it. You got the Dark Magician card, which is really cool. You got Nessie, you got Foxy Tune. I will say, with these Starlight rares, I'm still very confident we're gonna pull one. But it is supposed to be collector's rare ratios. Caddy Corn over here, one of the pack cards. It's supposed to be collector's rare ratios, which I believe is one every three boxes. So we got a 33% chance. And we got a Courageous Crimson. Is this a new card here? I don't think I've ever seen this card. It is an Infer Infernoble Knight card. I guess there's new cards in this set as well, huh? It's not just all reprints. Typically these Battles of Legend cards, or sets, I guess, are technically reprints, but they're also, I guess they do imports as well in here. That might be a thing, so. Okay, that makes sense. And I guess the imports would mostly be the secret rares. I guess there's a couple ultra rares in here. We got Rose Shaman, Ghost Wyvern, and a Duality. This card is absolutely insane. So tribute a light or dark monster, and then you special summon a light or dark monster from your hand or extra deck with the same original type and level, but a different attribute, which is crazy. So if you tribute a light, you summon a dark. If you tribute a dark, you summon a light, which is really crazy. And then you can banish this card from your graveyard, target a light and a dark monster in your graveyard, shuffle both back into the deck and then draw a card so this card is like uh chaos space but it's a quick play which is insane that that card is i think gonna see a lot of play in the future especially in dragon decks those dragon link decks are always like chaos based and this card is kind of insane for chaos decks so let's get into your celestial apparatus your guard mantis your sharensky the decoder and the book of eclipse oh I did not know this was a reprint. This is actually a pretty nice reprint. I like it. I like it. Yo, these reprints have been pretty good so far. But this right side hasn't hit me with anything super crazy. I think that Foxy Tune is a really good reprint. Nessie as well. I'm trying to see the, the, the crazy hype cards. You know what I mean? We have the Don't Slip. I mean, right would be a crazy card in here called Macrocosmos. We got a Ghost Fusion and another, oh, this is an Ogre Dance. It's not a Foxy Tune. Another punk card. It's an Ogre Dance, which is over here. Good reprint as well. All the punk cards are pretty good reprints just because they were pretty pricey. And I think those were released initially in those deck building sets. Those deck building sets typically don't get a reprint for a while. So it's kind of nice that we're seeing the reprint now. We got uh, Constellar Diamond. This recently came off the ban list. Caddy Corn. Ghost Wyvern. Protection of the Elements. This card is really cool in Elemental Hero. There are some builds that play this card and you have to build the deck a certain way to play this, but it's still a not bad card. And then we have Shadow Light, a card that I've personally never seen, but it looks like it's a Chaos Support card. Uh, but Protection of the Elements is a really cool card there. We got two more packs here on the right side, then we'll get into the left side. I, I just, I just can smell, I can smell the 25th anniversary rare. For some reason, I just, I just think it's gonna be a GX card. We got a Blackwing uh, Sharanga. This is a really good cool card. Like that, that's a card that I want three of. A Rite of Armesia, there we go. That's a really good secret rare. That's one of the bigger hits in here. And I'm really excited about this one because it's a reprint that we all needed. A lot of people wanna play this engine and it is a little bit on the pricier side, but this reprint makes it a lot more accessible, which I think is really, really cool. So let's get into the last pack here on the right side. And then, oh, this pack was already pre-ripped. I wonder if that means anything. I wonder if that means anything. We got the Eritama, the Ixis Bento, Rose Shaman, Sage, and the Mysterion of the Dragon Crown. I feel like I've seen this card before. Is this a reprint? I feel like this is a reprint. Maybe I'm wrong though. I don't know. Anyways, we got the left side over here. So we got 12 packs to go. I think it's 24 packs per box. And there's only five cards per pack, which is kind of crazy because typically these packs where, or these sets, maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like these sets with less cards typically come with 36 packs a box, but maybe I'm wrong there. We got a Dimensional Fissure as an Ultra Rare, Puppet Rook, we got a Ghost Sleeper, a Link Decoder, and a Synchro Zone. This is definitely a new card. I've never, I've never seen it at least, so maybe it's not a new card, but I haven't seen it. We got a lot of packs to go here, getting uh, less and less chances on the 25th anniversary, but I can I still, I can still, I don't know, I can smell it, I can smell it. Battlefield Tragedy, uh, I'm not sure what this card does. Newer card, I think, looks pretty cool. Let's get into the next pack here. Okay, so we have uh, we have a shot, we still have shots. Okay, that's our playset. that's all I wanted. I really wanted a playset of that card. Arms Regeneration, Praying, it's literally just called Praying Mantis, and it's a Praying Mantis, and it's Praying. 
I like that. That's funny. We got Perform Pal and a Rocket Coder. Okay, where is Infernal Flame Wingman? It's called Infernal Flame Wingman, right? Where's the new Flame Wingman card? That's I really want that card, and I want an Armed Neos. There's no way we don't pull those cards, right? I feel like we we have to pull those cards. We got a Sakitama, Lamia. We got a Rising Carp, Himmel, and a Photon Jumper. A lot of cards. I know we can make it happen. I know we can make it happen. You just gotta believe. Eritama. Maybe you guys haven't hit the like button. If you guys hit the like button right now, we're gonna hit something crazy. We didn't hit the like button yet. What are you guys doing? Hit the like button because right here, right now, okay, no cuts, no edits. Oh, it's gonna be, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. All right. Let's not even ruin it because I feel like it's gonna happen. Baby Spider, 72, Smashers, Protection. <laughs> And Assault Sting card, okay, well, this is not a 25th anniversary card. However, this card is absolutely crazy. This is one of the best cards printed in the set. This card is absolutely insane. This card is a crazy extender in today's format, which is absolutely insane. So Assault Synchron being one of the better secret rares to pull. I'm excited about that pull. This is a really cool card. I really like the Blackwing one. The Blackwing one is also another good extender. However, you are required to uh, have a monster with 2,000 or more attack on the field. Assault Synchron does not have that requirement. That card is insane, and it's going to be used in today's meta. I just, feel, I just know it's going to be used in today's meta. The card's just so good. We got a Viper Scrudge, a Deer Note, we got Valet, and oh, Super Polymerization Secret Rare. There we go. This is, this side has actually been pretty good, I would say. We got the Assault Synchron, we got the Super Poly now. The other side had Rite of Armesir, as well as your Nessie and Foxy Tune. So that was actually, a, oh, this box set is actually really good. There's a lot of value in this set, and Super Poly is a great, great card. It's a card that also comes in the 25th anniversary. So you never know, maybe we can pull one, maybe we, maybe we can, maybe we can't, but maybe we can. So let's find out if we can here. Got two cards to the front. We got an additional mirror level seven. Bistio Ball Drake is an ultra rare. It's a really, really good reprint. I think that's our first one. We got a punk card, volcanic shell, ultra rare. And we got a Dante Secret Rare. Very, very cool reprint here. I, I don't know what it is. I just, I think the reprint is really cool. Dante and BA is, uh, BA is definitely not something that's uh, gotten a lot of support recently and it's kind of uh, fallen off a little bit. However, you never know what these reprints. When they reprint Dante, you never know within the next year or so if they give that deck more support. We got a Puppet Rook. We got a Dimensional Fissure. Rose Shaman. We got a Himmel. And uh, there we go, Infernal Rage, Elemental Hero, Flame Wing Man. This is the card that I really, really wanted. I think this card is absolutely insane, and it gives a huge buff to the hero deck. And I'm super excited that we got to pull it because I'm definitely going to be making a new deck profile with this card in it. You guys know me, Flame Wing Man is my favorite card. It's the card that got me into the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! And the fact that they retrained it, and this card is really, really good. And just look at that artwork. Like, that artwork is just so nice on the card. I'm super excited that this card is reprinted and we got to pull it, which is crazy. So Infernal Rage here, this is a really hype pull for me. I really, really like this. But with that being said, we got three packs to go. No 25th anniversary card just yet. But I just, we pulled the Infernal Rage. I now feel like, I feel like we can just, we can just now pull it. We can pull the 25th anniversary card. Because Flame Wingman, that's, that's, that's our boy, right? And our boy would never do us dirty like that. We got a Baby Spider, Final Cross, Ziamin. And we got a number 92 Heart Earth Dragon. Okay, not, not a bad reprint, actually. That's actually a pretty good reprint. Secret Rare. Uh, we got two more packs. We got the Odd Eyes and the Arm Neos. Let's leave the Arm Neos for last. I don't know what it is, but I feel like we're just going to make this 25th anniversary rare card appear in the last pack here. So I don't think it's going to be in here. Like, I'll be honest with you. I don't think it's going to be in this pack. Let's just not expect anything. We got a Water Entrenchers, though. This is a very good Secret Rare. Very good pull over here. This with Rite of Armies here, of course, is very, very powerful. We got the Arm Neos and the Infernal Rage. Let's just bless this pack. Come on, Flaming Man. Come on, Flaming Man. You know we can make this happen. We got one more pack to go. 25th anniversary. Let's see if we can pull. You know what? It would just be so fitting if the card we pull is the Armneos. Because that would be insane. I don't think it's going to be. I think it's going to be... You know what? Armneos. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Nope. Oh no, the Photon Jumper. Okay, so we did not pull a 25th anniversary. See these glasses? We're just gonna, we're just gonna put them away. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't pull, we didn't pull. But I would say this, this is actually a pretty good, like let's just recap real quick. Cause I feel like there were some pretty cool like reprints in here that we pulled. That's what a box kind of looks like. And I'm not too mad about this. I think this actually was a pretty good box. I mean, of course, in terms of staples and stuff, these are really good cards in the ultra rare slots. But in terms of secret rares, like I think we got some really, really powerful ones. I'm just gonna put them all in my hand here. The Book of Eclipse is a really nice card. We got Ogre Dance over here is a really nice card. Right of Miramis here is a beautiful, beautiful secret rare we got an assault synchron very very powerful card 
Super Polymerization, Infernal Rage, of course, one of my favorite cards in the set. We got our Water Entrantress to go with our right. We got a Danger Nessie, of course, Golden Rule, Foxy Tune, and a Duality over here. Now, I'm I'm just, I'm over the moon because I think these cards are all really, really powerful. I think they're really, really good reprints. And I just want to say again, big shout out to Untouchable Sports Cards and Gaming for hooking me up with this box so I can bring it over for you guys. Now, this set is insane. I'm going to be honest with you. I You always, like people always say buy the singles and don't get me wrong i've always been the kind of guy where it's just buy the singles that you want however i think this set is really really cool i had a really fun time opening it and if you guys are going to pick up a set that you guys are going to open packs of i think this would be the one the reprints are really good the imports are really good it's just such a really cool set now if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one we upload five days a week here on the channel but we do a little bit of everything we have the product openings like this one deck profiles combo videos which by the way a lot of deck profiles are coming up post this set because there's a lot of support in this set you know what i just took in we didn't pull an engage with the alternate art we also didn't pull a sky striker azalea which is something that is uh really powerful in sky striker so uh maybe we have to go pick those up so we can do those deck profiles but i hope you guys did enjoy thank you guys all for watching i appreciate every single one of you link in the top of the description for untouchables if you guys want to check them out and with that spanko signing out peace